got me, you know, really thinking about how the enemy really is not playing fair, um, especially in the area of our emotions and stuff like that. You get what I'm saying? Like he's not. It, could you imagine? You know, let's say you're in an intimate relationship with somebody. You are, you're dating someone, and um, someone, you know is constantly calling them and telling them lies about you. Constantly calling them and, and saying bad things about you. Calling them constantly, nonstop, trying to convince them um, that you are not who you say you are. Um, maybe try to convince them to even spend time with them. Could you imagine that? Could you imagine your boyfriend or your girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? Somebody keeps calling them, um, trying to get in their ear about you saying negative things, trying to turn them against you, um, trying to draw you away from them. Could you imagine? Um, and could you imagine if you caught this person? Could you imagine if you found the person that's trying to get your significant other or the person you love um, to pull away from you or to fall back from you or to distance themselves from you? Could you imagine if you found that person and, and, and you, you, you know all the lies that were told about you, 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 you find out all the lies um, and all the things that were used to grab your partner or the person you love's attention. Um, and it's so crazy because this is what I truly believe God feels or God sees when he sees the devil entice us away from him. Like, I really believe that. Like, I really believe that God is so grieved and heartbroken when he sees us get enticed away by a liar, by someone who is so evil, by someone who is so wicked. Um, the enemy is literally in our ears trying to convince us that God is not our safe space. Could you imagine? The devil has gotten in our ears and convinced us that God is not the place to run to. The enemy really got in our minds, really got in our ears, got in our hearts, and, and the thing I hate about him the most is he gets us when we're vulnerable. And that thing, that thing really gets to me because the, you know what I've learned? You know, the enemy has no mercy. He, you know, you would think, you know, you're in your most vulnerable place. You're, you're in your most vulnerable place. You're in your most vulnerable state of your life. You're very emotional. You're going through a lot. You know, you probably lost a lot. You're probably discouraged, um, disappointed, hurt, um, betrayed. Um, rejected, abandoned, You're going through so much. Could you imagine all the stuff we go through in life, all the challenges and difficulties we're experiencing? And you would think, you would think it couldn't get any worse. And here comes the enemy in those most vulnerable moments. And he tries to convince you that it's God's fault. The enemy will literally try to convince you that God is the one to blame. The enemy will, the enemy will literally convince you that you don't, or you shouldn't be in a relationship with God? Or why should you be in a relationship with God? The enemy has literally convinced a lot of people, and he's, he's lied to me a couple times too, and tried to, he tries to convince us that God is not the safest place to be. God is not the safest place or the safest person to run to. I think that is so crazy, and I'm just, I'm in this place where I'm sick and tired of the enemy winning when it comes to the dark battle when it comes to the battlefield of the mind. I'm, I'm tired of watching the people I love and even watching myself sometimes get enticed away from the presence of God as if that's not the safest place I can go. If that's not like the safest place I can run to. The enemy's convinced us that running away from God, it's better than running towards him. And I think for me, one thing I would say, or one thing I would ask any person when they found themselves growing distant from God is who has convinced you that God is not your safe place? Who has convinced you that the presence of God is not where all your clarity is, all your understanding is, all your wisdom is, all your direction is? The Bible says, who among you has hindered you? You are running your way so well. And I'll even say, you know, what has hindered you? What has pulled you away? You know what's really crazy? I've found that God is such a jealous God. He loves his kids. He loves his children. And I think it's so interesting 
that even when we run away from God, God runs and pursues us. And he will find us. He will come looking for us. And I noticed one of our greatest mistakes is that when God pursues us, we mistake his breaking down every single door to reach us as an attack instead of a pursuit. As in when God is running after us and coming to save us sometimes from ourselves or from the lies that we believed from the enemy that kept us from his safe space, he comes and finds us sometimes in commitments. He comes and finds us sometimes in relationships. He comes and finds us sometimes um, doing things that we thought we had to do to find safety, peace, and security other than him. He found us in addictions. He found us um, in our sin. And I've learned that as God literally tears down every wall, breaks down every door to come and find me, I have to be careful that I don't confuse that as an attack against me, but he's trying to protect me because there's some things that I got involved with. There's some relationships I got involved in. There's some situations I got involved with. There's some environments I entered into. There's some commitments I've made when I have not been in the presence of God, you see? And then when God comes after me, he has to free me from those things. And I have to know that God loves me so much so he will not let me stray away for long. But again, it's the enemy coming in our most vulnerable times of our lives when we're emotional, when we're down, when there's an opportunity for him to strike. He comes and he has no mercy and he has the nerve to lie to us and make it seem like we're better off if we don't run to God. And that happens. We do get in spaces in our life where we find ourselves in this season where it's like, God, why is this going on? And in our pain, we fall back from God and run to another source we run to another escape, we run to another outlet other than God as if he's not the safest place to be, safest person to be with. Um, and like he doesn't have the answers, like he doesn't have um, the greatest plan for our lives, you know what I'm saying? I think the greatest thing that I've had to understand and learn for me, a great truth that has blessed me is that God has my best interest at heart. That like God actually cares about what I'm concerned about. And that he sees everything that's going on with me. And that if I could just cast my cares, all my anxieties, all my fears, all my worries on him, my motivation is because he cares about me with deepest affection. We can't run away from God. He's the safest place to be. His presence is the safest place to be. Who has convinced us that God's not the safest place to be? Who has convinced us that God is not our safe place? 